Hello, uh, today we're going to be doing a review of, dun dun dun, This Is How You Lose Her by Juno Diaz, um, which is pretty much a collection of short stories um, that all kind of have to deal with love, uh, I guess, and uh, most of them have the character of Junior, 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 um, who is a Dominican American. I mean, he, I think, was born in the Dominican Republic and then moved to America when he was very young with his uh, mom and his brother. And so the stories kind of jump around chronologically, and a few of them have different narrators or different characters as the focus. But uh, without getting into too much detail about what the stories are about, the things I've heard about Juno Diaz is why, or is, as far as why he's so popular, are one his writing style, which kind of reminded me of, um, almost a Bukowski, like, very gritty, dirty, um, or like, uh, a Raymond Carver, like a dirty realism. Um, there's some graphic and sexual language, which doesn't bother me, but, um, it was surprising, you know, because I'm so used to reading, not sanitized, but just more subtle, um, works, but it's not necessarily a bad thing, actually, it's kind of refreshing, and I enjoyed it. Um, and then second, it, second, or second, sorry, uh, would be, um, I don't know, his, uh, subject matter, which, or tone, I guess. This book was just, throughout most of it, I was just not loving the characters and the stories. It seems like a lot of the, a lot of the characters, a lot of the, most of the narrators, I think all but one are men, and most of them are the same guy, just at different points in his life. And it would frustrate me so much that he had this attitude, very like, um, that kind of machismo kind of, uh, way of thinking, like his brother and his dad, and that pisses me off. I mean, that's just not, I've never ever understood it, like, you're just gonna be a dick to be a dick. Uh... Or like he cheats on several women and then it's always oh I'm, I'm just like my dad or I'm my brother's code because my brother was like that and I think that's lame I've never liked that way of thinking I mean regardless yeah you're shaped by your you know I understand you're like shaped by the culture and by what you're exposed to but you have a choice and like I hate people when people like just cop out that way um, especially in books it's a oh well you know and then the people let him off the hook about it. Like, oh, he's just, you know, a Dominican guy or whatever. That's how those Dominicans are, which is, like, stupid. One, that's, like, a stereotype. And two, like, come on. But anyway, I understand it's fictional, so whatever. But I just, it didn't sit well with me, personally. Until the end. So, they were entertaining stories, but I didn't really enjoy what they were saying about like love or about relationships because it seemed like it, like if like it was him like oh yeah I'm hurt or whatever but if he were just not such a shitty person uh, it wouldn't have been so bad so it was hard to relate and then like there's this whole story about his brother and his brother getting cancer which sorry spoiler but it's in the first story and then it comes up again in more detail but, uh, and just, I don't know. It gets sad. I don't know. I just, it was hard for me to relate to the characters, kind of. Which, I mean, not a surprise. Uh, very different life, I guess. Um, and so, I, I appreciated the writing style. But the thing I didn't like is that, unlike Bukowski, Bukowski kind of knows he's uh, a scumbag. And so he writes and he does these things, but he kind of acknowledges that he's a scummy person and like kind of revels in it. Whereas it doesn't feel like our narrator here does that. Like he writes and clearly is kind of a scumbag, but doesn't acknowledge it. He like, his attitude is more that he's like doing a good, like he's an all right guy or he's a good guy who just made a mistake, but he's really not. Um, until the very end, the last story kind of redeem this book for me and it didn't redeem it enough to get it like a four this the the last story is by far the best and 
even that one was super, super frustrating. I feel like the last story kind of encompasses how I feel about the whole collection. Is that as I was reading, it was super, super frustrating. And then at the end, the end kind of like saved the whole story and the whole collection for me. Um, so it's definitely a three star. The style of writing is interesting. I kind of liked it. Um, however, I find the voice of the narrator problematic. And I feel like some of the stuff that is, some of the views that are discussed, I'm not a huge fan of. And so for me, it was just a three out of five. Um, it wouldn't be something I highly recommend, but it was enough to get me interested to read um, his other two works, Drown and The Brief and Wondrous Life of Oscar Wow, um, I think is the title of that one. But um, yeah, so I'll check it out and see what else Mr. Diaz has to say. So anyway, uh, let me know what you think if you've read this or if you've read his other works and you have any opinions. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Books and Beer, Books and underscore Beer. Um, or on Goodreads, I've started putting my the link to my Goodreads profile thing down there in the thingy. Um, other than that, you know, comment, whatever. Love to hear from everyone. Uh, and uh, let me know what you think of the outside filmings sitting here. Um, as always, have a good life and happy reading.